Good evening and welcome to my end of the week recap video here for Apple. Some very profitable uh, trades here for Apple towards the end of the week. First of all, I'll go through what I did get in and out of on Thursday off the open. I uh, was looking for a play above this 187.5 level. As it turns out, a nice gap above and continuation. As I said in my previous video, I was going to wait, let some sort of price action develop and go with whatever uh, price looked like it was going to do. As you can see, it came up put in a nice top, higher low, came up, tested the same top. So this first uh, basically retouch or retest of this 8 EMA and VWAP area got in some 190 calls here at 140. Price action looked like it was going to continue and break through this high, so I did double up here at 149. Just a quick note, in my opinion, if you have a winning position, it is safer to press that than to buy into a losing position. Uh, the goal here is to build a winner, not a loser. So with that in mind, Moving forward, you can see price action had a nice steep climb up. I expected it to run up straight to 190. It pretty much did on a, on a higher time frame basis, but I was watching here on the five minute just to uh, manage it as tight as possible. As you can see, big volume spike here, red inverted hammer candle, nice wick. It took half off position here at 185 as I was still looking for that 190 measured move uh, from a few days back. Took a quarter of the position off here once some more volume came in. Some sellers hit the tape here, got a quarter out there at $2, basically half of the remaining position. And it did trail me out here uh, at $189 uh, on, that in, on that final dip. I did leave a little bit on the table as it did run up to $190, uh, $190.20. These did price out a little over $250, came close to the target I was looking at at about uh, something like $3, something like that. Uh, but anyways, came close to it, left some on the table, still good profits there. Took one speculation, kind of like a lotto player towards the end of the day. It was putting in a, or excuse me, I guess late afternoon. Put in a, a high right here, came up, started testing it. I got into the weekly 190 calls here at 80, and it broke below. It took me out at uh, 0.795. So very, very, very small loss there. Basically only paid commissions. As you can see, that was the top for the day, and maybe the temporary top here going forward. With that in mind, on Friday, I was looking at a couple of significant levels here. Just go ahead and draw what I was, or illustrate what I was looking at. Basically, was looking at this range to hold. Once it broke below, looked for a retest and came down. Uh, I was looking at it to break below this 188.60 level. So, late morning, I got into the 18 May 190 puts here at 256. Held for a very, very long time. It was a very choppy day. Uh, went red green red green as far as my position goes then finally broke that 60 level right here which told me there were stops triggered and bears actually had at least some strength to it expected a test of VWAP as you can see failed there broke down came down put in a new low looked like it was going to hold here as a little bit of volume came in uh, buyers started picking up the tape so I did take half off here at 284 way down here at almost the exact low. I think that may have been the exact high of those puts. Uh, got out of the rest, excuse me, the rest of my position here at 3.30. Overall, it was a very nice trade there. The goal was to hit $4, but it just took too long to drop. So took the profits, got in, got out, and moving on to next week and what I will be looking for going forward. All my same levels are on the chart that I always use on my videos. Red lines are 50 SMA, yellow is 21 EMA, and the blue is the 8 EMA. Those are the call levels that I will be looking at. 170, two weeks out down here at the 200 SMA. If it, if it does come all the way down there, it may, it may not. Uh, that is very far down there, so it's not too likely to come down there, but it is possible. This flag pattern um, just extended it out to see what it looked like where price action came to today. As you can see, tested right down to the extension of it, held, which also coincided with this gap. So we'll see. If that holds that support going forward, I'm still going to stay bullish as price action is well above all my significant moving averages tell me it is safe to be bullish. Right here at this gap, if it tests again, I'll be looking at 190 calls about two weeks out. Because of the price action and the apparent rejection up here at 190, hit my price target. I'm expecting it to at least pull back in, maybe chop around between this 190 and 187 and a half level. If that is the case, I will be looking at support plays here or break out above 190. And since I don't expect it to break out, I'm not going to put any notes on there uh, describing such a uh, play. Pull back to the 8 EMA down here. It's going to be 185 calls about two weeks out. Now this blue line is the 8 EMA. It is very far away from price. Monday, as long as there's no huge gap down, this will actually come up a lot higher, probably around 187 maybe, 
uh, maybe not even all the way up there, probably around 186. Let's just split the difference somewhere in here. So I might, might look at some 187 and a half calls about two weeks out. So uh, that's what I'm looking at going forward here for Apple. I'm just going to be patient, wait for my supports. If I do see a range set up like it, like it did here uh, on Friday, I might take some puts again just to capture some gains on the way down a little bit. So have a good evening. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. And good luck.